Welcome, my lovely friends, to our Movement and Mindfulness video today. My name is Mariposa, and I am a caterpillar. Did you know that Mariposa means butterfly in Spanish? Someday, I will be a butterfly, and I'm so excited. But until then, I have some very important jobs that I need you to help me with. But before we can do that, I need you to bring two things with you to this movement mindfulness break. I need you to bring a blanket and a ball or a stuffy or some kind of toy that we can use. So you're gonna need to get those two things. So if you need to pause the video, grab that stuff and come back, feel free to do that, but make sure you have those things handy because we will need those today. I'm gonna need your help with some things, so those are the things you'll need to help me out because I'm a butterfly and someday I would like to be a beautiful butterfly. Wait, did I say I was a butterfly? No, I'm a caterpillar. I'm not quite there yet. Did you know that a caterpillar has one huge job? Do you know what it is? My job is to eat as much as I can, and I need you to help me. Can you see this tree? This is where I'm gonna get all of my leaves from and my food from so I can get nice and full and grow nice and big and be ready to be a butterfly. So we're gonna play a game called Eat and Run because I don't just eat, I also have to watch out for predators or things that might eat me, such as birds. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna be doing different activities to make sure that we can eat as much of the leaves as possible and then when I say bird, you have to protect yourself. So there's three different ways that butterflies and caterpillars protect themselves when they're being attacked. One of them is they drop into a ball. It's almost like they're pretending they're not even there. Another thing they do is some caterpillars have really bright colors, which tell other animals, danger, I'm poisonous. So when you get, if you get attacked by a bird, you can put your arms out nice and straight as a caterpillar and show off those bright colors so that the bird knows, stay far away. Another thing you can do is run. So when I say bird, you can either choose to drop into a ball, spread out your arms and show your colors or run. Are you ready to play eat and run? Cause I am, I am so hungry. Let's get started. First, we're gonna squat and reach up to grab some food and eat it. Reach up and grab some food. Bend at your knees, reach up, and burn! Oh, it's gone. Okay, let's do some mountain climbers. Lift those knees and your opposite arm, nice and high, and see if you can do it quickly. Reach up with your arms, reach up with your knees. Five, four, three, two, burn! You could either choose to drop into a ball, run really fast, or spread your arms out like this. Nice work. Let's go back to squatting and reaching. Reach, reach. Oh, I love these leaves. They're so nice and green and tasty. I can feel myself growing. This is delicious. Burn! Oh, oh, it's gone. Oh, good. Next, grab your left foot with your left arm and reach up to the sky. See if you can hold the balance. And grab some leaves. Munch them up. Grab some leaves. Munch them up. Burn! It's gone. Let's go back and switch. Hold your right foot with your right arm. Reach up with your left arm and grab some leaves. See if you can hold your balance. It's okay if you fall over. That's why we're practicing. Get as many leaves as you can because bird. He's gone. Last time. Squat. Reach. Squat. Reach. Squat. Reach, squat. Reach, bird! It's gone. Let's do more mountain climbers. Reach your arms and your opposite legs up to the sky. Grab as many leaves as you can and bird! It's gone. Oh, well done, my
my friends, we have successfully eaten lots and lots of leaves. And we escaped all of the birds, all of the predators that were trying to eat us. I feel very proud to be on your caterpillar team. Now, this is when you're going to need your ball or stuffy or whatever object you chose to bring with you. So, stand up nice and tall with that object. Because, did you know that the way that a caterpillar becomes a butterfly is that it weaves a cocoon? So it wraps itself up in something that's usually a white or greenish color and it becomes a butterfly inside the cocoon and then it comes out as a butterfly with the wings, just like I will. So, actually something that you may not know about caterpillars is that they actually make a special kind of silk from their mouth. Watch this. And that's what I used to wrap myself in. Are you ready? Take your ball or your toy or your stuffy. We're gonna start down by our ankles and pass it around our body. Do you see what I'm doing? Passing it from one hand behind me to the other hand. Keep doing that a little by little going up the body because we're wrapping ourselves nice and tight. Make sure your legs are tight together because it's pretty tight in that cocoon. Keep going further up your body until you get to the top. Oh my goodness. We've made a cocoon. Can you move? I can't move anymore. Can you show me your penguin dance? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Move your feet, but not your legs. Yeah, I'm a cool caterpillar. Are you a cool caterpillar? Show me that wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You know what's great? Is that even though I can't move my arms and I can't move my legs inside this cocoon right now, I can move my neck. So let's turn your neck to the left. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Bring your head back up to the middle. Turn it to the right side, gently. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Now you're gonna carefully turn your head in circles around. From the front, to the side, to the back, to the side. And now you're gonna switch directions. From the front to the other side. From the back to the other side. Feel that stretch in your neck as you breathe in and breathe out. Let your head hang forward so that you're looking at the ground. Take three deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. that feels so good. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap ourselves up in the blanket as if we were in the cocoon. But first, you need to lay out the blanket. So I'm gonna move this so that you can see what I'm doing. So spread your blanket out nice and big so that you've got lots of space to wrap yourself in the blanket. So first, you're gonna lie down on the blanket. We're not gonna wrap ourselves just yet. Lie down on the blanket so your legs are straight out and your arms are next to you. You got it? Awesome. Next thing you're gonna do is you are going to carefully lift your left leg. Left makes an L. And you're going to kind of grab it with your hands and pull it gently towards your chest. Take nice deep breaths through your nose. Two more deep breaths. Listen to the sound of your breathing. Nice job stretching that leg. Let's let it go straight out in front of us 
and then switch. So pull the right leg up and right knee up, grab it with your hands interlaced like this, and gently pull it towards your chest. And we're gonna take another three nice deep breaths through your nose. Listen to how your breath sounds. Try to breathe in as much air as you can and breathe out as much as you can. Nice works. Stretch those legs out. Put your arms next to you. Stretch your feet out as far as you can go. Stretch your arms up as far as they can go. As if you were a rubber band being stretched. Stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. And relax. Put your arms back next to you. We're going to take another three nice deep breaths. But we're going to put our hands on our belly so that we can feel the air coming in and out of our lungs. Ready? One more breath. Feel your belly get bigger and get smaller as you let out all the air. Now, this is the fun part. We get to wrap ourselves in a cocoon. So take one side of your blanket and make sure that it covers your legs and tuck it in like you might get tucked into bed. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Kind of tuck it underneath the side of you. And then take the other side and stretch that over you. Make sure you have your arms free and tuck that in so that you feel nice and tight and cozy. You can lift up your body to tuck it underneath, make it nice and tight. I kind of feel like a burrito to be honest with you, but I'm not, I'm a, I'm a caterpillar just to clarify. All right, so lay down nice and straight like you were before. Take some nice deep breaths. Do you feel any different now that you're wrapped up in the blanket? Now that you're in a cocoon, just like caterpillars get in cocoons? It feels really cozy and I feel nice and safe. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our thumb and our index finger, which is the finger right next to it, and we're going to rub them together. And notice, what does that feel like? Does it feel silly? Does it feel tickly? Does it feel relaxing? Then do your next finger. You can do this with your hands by your side or you can lift your hands up. Then switch to your, your um, second to last finger. Rub it gently with your thumb and then switch to your pinky finger. All the while taking nice big breaths. It's so nice to think about how our body feels and how different sensations make us feel calm or make us feel silly. That's part of being mindful. Mindful means that we're thinking about how we feel and what's happening right now, and that's it. Well, guess what? Caterpillars don't stay caterpillars forever. Do you think you know what's gonna happen next? I bet some friends have guesses as to what's going to happen next. I'm a beautiful butterfly. Look at my wings. I can flap them. This is so exciting. I've been waiting for so long to be a butterfly. I'm so excited that I finally am a butterfly. Can you sit crisscross applesauce with me? We're going to do one last kind of breath before we say goodbye. It's called lion's breath, even though I'm a butterfly, but I really like it and I think you'll like it too. So did you know that butterflies have a thing called a proboscis? It's something that we use to get nectar out of flowers. So it's kind of like a super long tongue. Everybody stick out your tongue. Yes, exactly. It's like a super long tongue that goes into the flower and gets the sweet, juicy nectar. And that's how I feed myself now as a butterfly. So we are going to breathe in through our nose 
and breathe out with our tongue out like this. <sighs> Make a <sighs> sound. You ready to try it a couple more times with me? It's super silly. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth with your tongue out. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> Great work, my friends. Thank you for joining me, Mariposa the Caterpillar. Well, now the butterfly. And I hope to see you next time for our next movement and mindfulness break. Have a great day.